Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Habakakwadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called God and Jesus Christ, whose correct and proper names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth, and I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered. Throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants of prophets, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine, unto you I say shalom. Shortages. All right, and this is you know the title of the lesson, what I'm going to go into, because no one's speaking on these things. All right, and um, I pulled up the definition of shortage, and I'm just going to go through a list of news articles filtered through Google that relate to shortages, and you're going to see that. What, what's on what's taking place and what's on the horizon um, of things that to, 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 to happen you know shortage in food shortage in gas shortage in workers all these things are taking place uh, right before your eyes all right and you have to have spiritual eyes to see these things and if you don't these good things are going to come upon you like a thief in the light like the Lord says he's going to come all right but if you have eyes to see and you're watching all right if you're take you're hearkening to the words of the prophets the men of the Lord you you you'll understand the time that we're living in Okay, let me grab a quick precept. Um, uh, second Ezra chapter nine, and I'm gonna go into uh, some some articles. I'm not even gonna read them. I'm just gonna, you know, scan through them so you can see the the mass shortages that have been that are taking place now and that have been taking place. You could say over the past, you know, few months. It says, this is second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I told thee before, and those signs are the prophecies. This it, is, it was always prophesied that there would be food shortages. There would be a famine. Okay. There would be a, a work shortage. All right. The scriptures say that there should be no work in Egypt. Okay. That, that, you know, there would be a, um, um, like, bear me one second. There would be a shortage in, um, uh, you know, uh, goods, you know, all these things that, that that are taking place. All right. This is the beginning of the end of America. All right. Because America is a country that's gluttonous and, and has overabundance in, uh, in, in things that, you know, takes on the spirit of Esau where they have more than they, they, than they need. They're covered. They're, America is a covetousness country. OK. And the people have taken on that, that same spirit. All right, verse 2, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right, so these things are spoken of by the prophets. All right, and why are you going to see uproars of the people? Because of the things that are taking place, the shortages in food, the shortages of gas, the inflation, the hyperinflation. That's why you're going to see the uproars of people, and that's taking place throughout throughout the world right now. All right, and, and at a at a in those countries at a mass level, but but not at a global level yet. All right, so let me get uh, shortages. Um, the state or situation in which something needed cannot be obtained in sufficient amount. All right, something that's needed, something that you would call an essential. All right, food. All right, it's going to be a shortage of power. All right, these grids are going to shut down. No one's speaking on that. All right, uh, let me just hit the news tab, and you're going to see off-charge chemical shortage hit farms. So that's a chain reaction of events that's going to take place. Uh, uh, that that to 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 make a shortage of food. Um, people are walking off jobs. Workers blame American Red Cross for U.S. blood shortage. All right, there's a shortage of blood blood donations. UN warns catastrophic for global food shortage. We already speculated that food shortage. Why is there a labor shortage? No work in Egypt. All right, Germany to deploy temporary foreign workers to ease staff shortage in German in German airports. So th there's a shortage of workers again. Sh labor shortage, and these are one day old. But if you go to some of the older articles, it was shortages in um, sriracha, uh, hot sauce. Uh, um, you know, it's is it, well. We already know about the shortage in baby form, formula, all right, which is taking place, which is wicked in itself. 
Uh, Farmer City pools closed certain dates due to lifeguard shortages. Lifeguard shortages. Um, a shortage in can Canadian rheumatologists linked to increase in burnout. All right, hey, these people are burnt out. So what's taking place is a lot of these employers, with the with the with the increase of um, how does it work with the uh, with them paying their employees more. All right, with the with the uh, increase of um, gas and you know basic uh, essentials necessities, all right, they're not able to staff as many employees. So therefore, that may if you went if you get, if you had a business and you had twenty employees, you probably go down to ten or twelve employees where you have those employees working longer hours. Therefore, they're getting burnt out. Okay, and, and, and eventually these people may quit. All right, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to be out there committing suicide because the pressure of the, the the everyday life the everyday grind is just getting to them it says pilot fatigue there is a shortage of grows there's a shortage in pilots there's all these shortages lead to a chain reaction all right where if there's a shortage of pilots the pilots not are flying so they're going to start canceling flights all right uh researchers issue uh mitigation strategies to i i i i how do you say this word iodinated Contrast shortage, whatever that means. Uh, sriracha shortage right now. Uh, well, how bad will the food shortage get? Um, worker shortages cripple pool and summer attractions. All right, so that's a, um, it's like I said, it's a chain reaction of events. All right, if they, it's no lifeguards or, you know, these the amusement parks, the people people can't flow in, and, and therefore it cuts into ESOL's money. Chicago police. To look to recruit U.S. Marines to combat officer shortages. And, you know, this is the if you this is the worst time to go into being a, a in law enforcement because you're going to, have to deal with these uprisings. You're going to, have to deal with these uh, uh, these race wars. All right, these these, these um, class wars, all these things. And a lot of a lot of these police officers are going to quit on the job. They're not ready for this shit. They're not built for this. Tampon shortages. Um, let me see. Uh, and, and these are things, and this is just over the last three days, how auto companies are adapting to global chip shortages. So there's the, the, the chips that go into these cars. There's a shortage of them. Or, and, this, and this took place last year where you had um, a lot of cars on the lots that, that, that were just there because they didn't have the chips to uh, put in to, you know, for them to allow them to work. All right. Um, let me see. Here I'll go. I'll skip to page six and see what they talk about. Um... 2,000 to 250,000 nursing shortage expected by 2025 without action. All right, hey, no one's trying to be a nurse because those nurses are working working long hours, especially when uh, pandemics and you know uh, natural, um, uh, I won't say natural, but um, you know mass shootings and these things happen. These people are not built for this. All right, you know they they these nurses are going in there thinking they going in to check people's temperature and uh, 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 you know. You know, check them in. They they not ready for. They not a lot of people. A lot of these people are not built for the times that we're living in. This is a time like no other. Um, let me see. Um, Nigerian frontier market status at risk due to dollar shortage. It's gonna be a shortage in money. Okay, and the, as the dollar is is crashing. Okay, the the dollar is 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 a shortage. Of of the use of your dollar, all right. So you know, with the with the, with the inflation, all right. Alaska's labor shortage is a people shortage. Nationwide drug shortage felt uh, being felt by Michigan residents' health facilities. So a lot of these people are are, are on these on these uh, medications, all right. Whether whether they be uh, um, di diabetes pills or some form of medication. There's becoming a uh, there's a, a shortage in that, all right. When these people are, are, are so used to having these these drugs, these uh, um, these chemicals put in them, you know, and and when they don't have them, they're gonna bug out eventually, all right. These people are gonna people are gonna bug out because they don't have their medicine. They don't have you know this. They don't they, these people are gonna bug out because they don't have uh, uh, they only ate maybe once a day. All right, these people are are, are gluttonous. All right, they're used to eating you know. Uh, uh, three, not three, but four and five times a, a day. All right. All right. Talked about the police department. Um, let me see. So some of these art articles are kind of recycled, but 
They're, they're showing you there. There's a shortage of, of damn near everything. Empty container boxes struck in Rodman May Stoke Asian shortage. So that that's because a lot of the a lot of the um, the um, the merchandise, the goods, the medicines, foods, processed foods, whatever it be, they come from China. So if it's if it's a short, it's a shortage in that. It's going to be it's going to chain reaction. It's going to be a shortage here in America. All right, we already talked about the lifeguards. Um, so, so, you know, you, if, if you guys eyes to see, you see that what's going on, you know, everything is every, the most high is, is man doing a beautiful work on America, mainly America, but really the whole world, but America's going to take it the hardest. All right. Cause like I said, these people are used to having an, a, 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 an overly amount of, of everything. All right. You're used to going to grocery stores, Costco, uh, Sam's Club, and you see all this food and all these things you could buy, and you can just buy in bulk. Pretty soon, that's not, that's going to be a thing of the past. All right, all these storehouses are going to be empty because there's a there's a shortage in um I did a lesson on this a while ago. There's a shortage in truck drivers. All right, where there before you had to be at link 21 to be uh, uh to to even try to get your to, to 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 drive on the road to get your um your CDL to drive trucks. Now they drop the age to 18. Because the shortage in workers, all right. If there's a shortage in truck drivers, there's going to be a a a a, a, um, a shortage in the food that comes in uh, to these grocery stores, these Costco's, these um, Sam's Clubs. So, like I say, like we always say, these stores only um, carry three days worth of food, all right. So every three days, every two days, you got a truck coming in with food, with food. Eventually, it's going to go down to every four days, every week every two weeks and pretty soon these truckers um are not going to risk their lives all right coming into these cities where 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 you got these mass food shortages where you have this these mass family they, they better off sitting at home uh and not and not doing nothing and, and basically protecting them their their own family from um from everything that's going on or trying to protect their own family i'll say uh, let me see let me see if i can find any more um good ones National caregiver shortage impacting Knoxville organizations. So there's no more caregivers. You know, you have the elderly that are in these homes. You, you may have one person taking care of 15 people. All right. And, and these elderly people are a lot of them need they need they need um, they need someone to care for them, you know, out, um, you know, each and every hour. If that don't happen, a lot of bodies are going to drop. All right. So. You know, everything going on, man, it's, it's, it's spiritual, okay? It, it, it's the Lord is the Lord is doing a work on America. The Lord is, is slowly but surely taking America out. And, 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 you know, this place is dying, all right? The people are dying, all right? The spirit of these people are dying. That, that, that American spirit, uh, 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 that, that, that um, what is that shit called? Um, uh, the American dream is dying, where you can come here and, and make money and, and, and be prosperous and, that shit is dead. That shit is through. A lot of these countries are are, are are leaving America, are fleeing America because they see what was taking place. All right, so let me hop right into the scriptures. This is Second Ezra chapter um, six. I'm going to start at verse twenty-two. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. All right, that's these grocery stores. All right, these stores that these these drug stores, all right, where people go get their prescriptions filled. All these places are going to be empty. All right, where where where, where you know you don't know where you're going to get your next meal at. All right, where where Esau the devil will have to ration out food to uh to to families. All right, to ration out a, a box of food which is supposed to last you for a week. All right, and eventually you you're not going to be able to get food unless you have that that uh that 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 karagma, that digital karagma. All right. The trumpet shall be given a sound which every man heareth. They shall suddenly be afraid. At the time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies. And earth, the earth shall stand still with fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still. And in three hours, they shall not run. So it's not going to be no running water. It's not going to be power. Shortage of, shortage of water. All right. California is already in a, a drought. Okay. Uh, amongst other states that that are in you know certain type of droughts where they have a shortage of water, okay. Like I said, water, power, the things that you the things that you 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 use every day that you you know you don't not even mindful of 
All right, there's going to be a shortage of those things. Natural gas, okay, and, and it's going. And, you know, the, the, these some of these companies may just shut down. All right, they they, they may not have enough workers. Okay, so hey, we're, we're living in the times where you're going to see a drastic change in the way you live your everyday life. All right, and this is all it's all the, the all the works of the heavenly Father. The heavenly Father is doing this because wickedness. The wickedness of this place, the wickedness of America, the wickedness of Esau, the wickedness of our people is reaching all time high. This is um, first, uh, excuse me, second, second Ezra 15 and uh, chapter 15, second Ezra 15 and one. Behold, I speak thou in the ears of, of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That's the scriptures. Okay, that, that, that's these prophecies. Fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness behold saith the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction all these things are coming all right and this is the beginning of sorrows all these shortages okay you're going to see everything it's going to be a shortage of everything and once this world war kicks off you think china which supplies damn near 95 percent of everything you consume and and and, and buy here it's going to be sending, you know, goods over. If they do, they're going to be heavily taxed. And I don't think that's going to happen when China, Russia, Iran, North Korea are all in war against NATO and the EU and America. And eventually all those countries, that's their prophecy, are going to turn on America. That were once allies with America. So there ain't going to be no commerce going on. All right. We're, we're during the time of war. OK, so all these things that that, that you, you, you have here is going to be it's going to be. It's not, it's not going to be any more. All right. Verse six, for wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's why the Lord is bringing these judgments, because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. This earth is wicked. All right. That's why people are going to suffer. That's why you're going to see uh, 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 babies and women. All right. Uh, die out here. All right. Because the, of the wickedness of these people. All right. The, 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 the. You know, and they and they don't hide it anymore. Wickedness is right in your face, and a lot of you people out there, you mainly you Israelites, have the ability to um, not the ability, but that you should should have the mind to um, you know to to deny some of these things, to 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 call some of this wicked wicked shit out. But our people just go along to get along. You know, they 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 just want everything to be all right, and everything ain't all right. It ain't been all right. Okay, therefore, say the Lord, I will hold my hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profane profoundly commit neither will i suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves behold behold the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me the souls of the just complain continually and that's the hopeful elect that are complaining to the heavenly father or about the wicked deeds of our people the wicked deeds of esau these heathens okay that's why this judgment all right that's why you see this shortages taking place all right and this is a this is you know it's not a big deal right now because these shortages aren't taking effect on you personally, all right, where, you know, you go to the grocery store and they don't have your favorite chip or they don't have your favorite this or that, all right? They, they you know, they're they not shutting off your internet yet. They're not shutting off your power. But once these things take place and these things affect you personally, all right, that's when you, a lot of you niggas are going to want to hearken unto the Lord. That's when you want to try to get right. But by then, it's going to be too late for you niggas, man. This is Second Ezra chapter 16. And I'm going to start at verse um, 18. The beginning of sorrows. So, like, let me scroll up. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils come? This is the prophet Ezra speaking. What am I going to do when these evils come? Okay? Because that famine is coming. The shortage of food, a great shortage of food is coming. All right, and I'm going to get the scripture in Lamentations where it says it's better to die of uh, the sword than famine. All right, because when you die of a famine, your 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 you know of, of starvation, excuse me, your body it, it you the, the especially here in Babylon where you were eating all these sugar based foods and uh, um, high fructose corn syrup and all these fucking chemicals, your body is used to those. So when they don't have them, they 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 um. They um they crave them and your body begins to eat at itself. Okay, that that that's that's torture right there. All right, and a lot of you niggas out there are gonna be tortured because of your wickedness. 
all right, because your inability, not inability, because your your stubbornness and uh, to, to, to turn unto the Lord, to get right, all right, because you put your faith in this devil, you put your faith in America, all right, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendments, so all these things, all these shortages are sent to open you Israelites' eyes to, to so you can amend your ways, so you can turn to the Lord, but the scripture says, but Verse 20, but these are but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Behold, victuals shall be cheap upon the earth. They that they shall think themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. That sword and that famine is man, that 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 the blast the last three verses, that's hidden, man. So the Lord is reiterating that statement that that sword and that famine is coming. Okay? You know, you could have a shortage of lifeguards and shortage of, um, you know, certain medicines. But when you get that shortage of food, that's what's really going to make you, you people suffer. Y'all going to suffer, man, terribly. All right. Um, let me jump down because I want to read verse 41 and go down and read from there. You know, speaking on the, the stores and the um, stores, uh, um, you know, certain people that have, you know, um, you know, that sell certain goods, they're going to they're not going to have any um they're, they're not going to have any uh, uh um, what is, what's the word um um really anyone to buy their merchandise because they they won't have any merchandise all right this is uh back at, and still in second Ezra 16 and verse 41 he that selleth let him be as he that fleeth away and he that buyeth as one that will lose all right so that, that's your buying and selling right there all right it, it, unless you know once esau comes with this, with the with the solution you got that digital, that karagma, all right? But those that have stores, those that have these small businesses, like you saw during the pandemic, they, hey, they're going to be through. The next pandemic comes around, it's going to wipe out the small businesses completely, all right? They gave you stimulus checks and PPP loans to try to maintain, which is not, nothing more but than a trap and a snare to keep you, you know, um, to keep, keep keep you subservient to them, to, you know, to keep you in debt to them, okay? But once the next pandemic comes, Esau's doing away with all the, all the small businesses. You won't survive the next pandemic. Okay? He that occupieth merchandise as he that have no profit by it. All right? If you have merchandise, you're not going to have to make profit by it. You're going to lose. And he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell in. All right? The, all these people that build in these houses and uh, uh, um, buildings and stadiums and shit, you're not going to... That, that shit is not going to... It's, those stadiums are going to be concentration camps, all right? Those houses are going to be just vacant, okay? He that soweth is as he that shall not reap. Also, he that planteth the, the vineyard as he that shall not gather grapes. All right, so wherever you put your hand to, if it ain't this true, if it ain't putting your faith in the Lord, it's not going to prosper you, okay? I want to get that script in Lamentations. Um, Lamentations 4, I think 8. Uh, nine. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger, for these pine away, stricken though through like here, through for want of the fruits of the field. All right, so it's better than like I said, it's better to die of the sword. All right, it's better to be gunned down in the street. All right, it's better you know than than to die of hunger. Because at least you know you get you you, you got to suffer for a little bit when you when you get gunned down or you may die right away. But being slain by hunger, you you hey that that's that's straight torture, or you're gonna suffer for days or ever how long the heavenly Father allows you. Okay, but hey, you you see America America falling right now, right right before your face. All right, what what, what of our people do? They're gonna continue to cleave onto this place. Two thirds of our people. They're going to cleave on to America. They're going to hold on and hope that things turn around. Hope that this, this is the year that, you know, America turns around. These niggas really have that, that, that mindset of Trump that make America great again shit. All right. This is 30, uh, I say at 30 and one, woe to the rebellious children, save the Lord that take counsel, but not of me that, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin, iniquity. All right. Those rebellious children are you children of Israel. Okay, they, they, they take counsel of everything that this devil says, but they're not taking counsel of the Lord, all right, through his prophets. 
Okay, they 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 want a covering from the devil, but not a covering of the of the of the heavenly Father. That walk down into Egypt and that have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And that, that's 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 true T. They trust in the shadow of Egypt. All right, you old bottle niggas out there, you civil rights niggas, you 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 trust in Egypt. All right, and a lot of these Jake older Jakes, they should know better. They should know better not to trust this devil. But they're all in with this devil. They're all in with America. They 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 see. They can somewhat see the downfall. A lot of them just hope they're not alive to see it. And the Most High is preserving a lot of people. All right, young Jakes, old Jakes. All right, to 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 see the downfall and be a part of that downfall of America. Let me scroll down to um. Sorry, verse nine. It says, "This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord." Which say to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, speak, pro prophesy deceits. And they want to hear deceits right now. They don't want to see, Jake don't want to see this shit, shortage of this, shortage of that. And this shit, and, the, and this can go on for, hell, let me see, 25 pages, it can go longer. All right, removing financial barriers could help alleviate pilot shortage. They're talking about the pilots again, baby formula. All right, the sriracha again. Okay, baby formula. This just, this can go a hundred pages on Google uh, uh, about the shortages that are taking place worldwide. Well, it's only thirty pages, but I'm pretty sure it's more shortages that are taking place. This was a month ago talking about the baby formula. All right, I can just click on on, on multiple pages, and this is just one. Um, you know, this is just the, the the word shortage. All right. You see supply chains, tampons, we started talking about that. And that's going to be a big thing because when they have these shortages, when a lot of these women, when they're on their monthly cycle, what's going to take place? They're going to begin to stink. They're going to, you know, the scripture says that, thou stink. You shall stink instead of sweet smell. Okay? Um. So, um, let me see. I want to read one more verse from here. Verse 11. Uh, so, no, verse 12. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from us. All right, and the Holy One of Israel is Yahweh Shai. They don't want to hear Yahweh Shai is coming back. Okay, they want the Yahweh Shai to the delay is coming. Okay, so they can, you know, do this or do that and, and do whatever these niggas want to do in the world. But the Most High is, is not delaying his, is this coming of his son because you can see that by the prophecies. All right, wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression. And perverseness, this place is perverse. I mean, perverse meaning outside the temple and stay there on. You trust in oppression. This is an oppressive system. This is an oppressive lifestyle that you continue to live in, that you that you continue to accept. Okay? And and you, the Lord says stay there on because you trust it in this place. Stay, stay, stay on America, stay on America's side. All right. Stay on the wicked side. Stay on the unrighteous side. All right, because the Lord is only dealing with his elect. All right. Once you can figure that out, you know. You, you, that's how you'll, you'll be better off. The Lord is not dealing with everyone, all right? So when these things happen to our people, two-thirds of our people, you're going to see, okay? You, you, you're you going to see the power of the Lord. You're going to see the scourge of the Lord, all right? Where where, where where the elect, the hopeful elect, already know these things are coming because the, the they have that eyesight. They can they have the foresight through the Spirit to see these things, all right? So Lord willing, um, this lesson was edifying. Unto the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hashem, 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 Hashem. 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 Hash